Prove It Matters is the game show that introduces much needed debate to the world of business. Guests pick a topic, get two minutes to debate, and prove their points matter. All while I poke, prod, and generally try to mess them up. You game? Hi, I'm Brianne Fleming. I run a podcast called Making the Brand where I really try to teach people marketing, but through the lens of pop culture. So I look for marketing lessons when it comes to TV, movies, music. Um, I always look for that golden nugget that we can apply to personal brands or corporate brands. And they're out there. You just have to look a little harder. I also teach social media and branding for the University of Florida. So I think that's a perfect segue, actually, for you to talk about what we're debating today, Leo. <laughs> yep. So you have two minutes. I'm going to try to mess you up. I'm going to maybe make fun of the Backstreet Boys. I don't know if that's oh, going to no. be a good thing or a bad thing. I'm going to say that you cannot, you cannot teach social media marketing. I guess that makes me a fraud, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's Hopefully. see. All right, here we go. Ready? All right. Go. Yep. All right. I will admit that teaching social media, it is not an exact science. It's not like teaching math where you're always going to land on a perfect answer where okay. it's black and white, mm -hmm. but it's all about a mindset shift. If people stop seeing social media as just this dumping ground for mm -hmm. them to document every little thing that they're doing, pictures okay. of their lunch, yep. all that stuff that people just throw up onto mm -hmm. social media. If you post understanding that you're posting something, uh -huh for your audience mm -hmm. and making sure that there's a takeaway for them, uh -huh. you can be successful. You just taught me all that. I don't need to do it. And plus social media is changing every single day, every single minute. How are you going to teach something that in a book or in a blog post or in a tweet, it becomes old within seconds. How can you mm -hmm. possibly teach that ever? The strategy changes is, is, is exactly the same because you still are communicating with an audience. The medium itself might be changing constantly, but the people who you're creating content for, mm -hmm. we still have the same emotions. You still have to empathize. You still have to entertain. None of that yep. will ever change. I'm just going to read a book. You're reading from a textbook. What else? <laughs> what are you adding? I don't have no idea. The textbook says it. I could read a blog. I could literally read Mashable. I don't know if people read Mashable anymore, but I could mm -hmm. read Mashable or listen to your own <laughs> podcast. Why am I mm -hmm. even going to do that? Well, you have to put all of these strategies into practice. And the thing with social media is you have to test and evolve over time. So you might be posting something yesterday that might not work today. Mm. You always have to consistently be testing and not just considering the old methods. You have to stay on top of all of those changes too. I don't know. Now if people say I don't even need a degree. Why am I even going to go to school for a degree? I'm just going to learn with my internship. Mm hmm. Well, I always encourage people to get an internship, but it's always good to take what you're learning in class and apply it to those internships so you can wow your boss and maybe they'll hire you full time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got the alarm. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Obviously, uh, being an adjunct professor myself teaching social media, yes. I couldn't agree with you yeah. <laughs> any more. It's important to teach it in school. I am glad that professors like yourself and people like yourself are passionate and they're for the students, not only teaching them about social media, but making it relatable mm -hmm. and just uh, having a passion and being there for everybody. So Absolutely. There's a whole community. If I could give a shout out to Dr. Karen Freeberg. You might oh, call our her. friend. She's the reason I teach. No way. Yeah. yeah. She's just kind of leading the charge with everyone teaching social media. I didn't think it was such a big field. I mean, it's, it's so new. A lot of people teach marketing and advertising, but it turns out there's a huge community of just social media professors. So it's, it's, it's a new, new sign of the times, I guess. <laughs> it is. And the funny thing is I think I'm cool sometimes. And then I look at her and I'm like, she's cooler than I will ever yeah, be. She's got it down. <laughs> well, Brian, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This was fun. Of course. Let me know what the next topic is. I'll, I'll come oh, back. All right. We could debate. I'm going to say that NSYNC is better than the Backstreet Boys. Oh, that hurts. I mean, I can go all day on that as well, <laughs> but, uh, but let me know when. <laughs>